Hi, my name is Lori Popow, and I just came back from a special event called Pisanki at the Gardens. Because these were live events, the audio and video aren't studio quality, but I know you will still enjoy them very much. Okay, so I'm going to show you is mixing or blending two colors, three colors on the egg. Um, after you wax it, your wax is going to act like a barrier to, for your dye or even your vinegar. So it's going to help it from spreading or going to other areas of your design. Um, first thing I do, I, I start with, um, we want clean vinegar, always clean water. And right now I'm just using the primary colors. For the most part I use UGS dyes. Um, so it's a red, yellow, and light blue. Um, but the first thing I do is with vinegar, just the clean vinegar, I start, I just add a little vinegar to the area that I'm going to be working with. And that helps as a, a blending medium that will help blend your dyes. Um, so if I use blue, see it takes pretty quick, but um, if you need to uh, soften your line, you go back to vinegar and you can just start pushing the brush and the dye around. Show on. Just like. In this one, I'll just do the dark, darker blue to light. You keep working the dark from the darker to from the lighter, the dark, so yeah. you're not adding more dye. You're just you add some to start with and then right. move up. Okay, that's. Uh -huh. But now again, if you want it darker, obviously you just. Um, and you can always use your brush if you dry it off a little. You can use it to to wick up or yeah. take up some of the extra liquid if it's dye or the vinegar. Um, but then you can always add more blue to make it darker. Anyway. So with the dye that you start with those primary colors, is that just regular mixed, or did you use something special? No, nope, just it regular, more just from whatever the package. Yeah. So that's just one dye. Now, if I can use blue again with um, yellow, does anybody know blue and yellow? What Green. color? Green. Purple. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Okay, thanks for putting that one in the Pasanki game. <laughs> yes. It's Mark. So I'll start the same way, just um, adding some blue. This was labeled light blue, so I imagine it's UGS. Mm -hmm. So then I'll go to yellow. And there's a lot of different effects or techniques you can use. You can let, just let the, the one color bleed into the other. But I just use the brush and you can just kind of blend it in. And so you get your yellow, green, and into blue. make a gorgeous peacock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's two colors. Um, what I found with red, and especially the UGS red, it takes to the shell really quick. Mm -hmm. So if I'm making or mixing orange or purple, I'll start with blue or yellow, and then add the red to that. It's just a lot harder to mm -hmm. blend it. So we can, uh, again, we'll start with the blue. It's pretty dark. Mm -hmm. So you can see how, if there was a hard line there, you can always use your brush to soften that. What type of brush are you using? So it's like really inexpensive acrylic watercolor craft brushes. Um, Has it got a, like, like a, a wedge very, or a point? No, it's just a round. Round, round. okay.
You kind of get a purple color in there, but. Mixing the, the red and blue, I find it hard to get a really nice purple, so a lot of times I just hmm. use the UGS purple or find another purple to get that, but I mean, you can uh -huh. see a little yeah. bit of it. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you want to get a third color in there, you can create orange on top. So it seems like once you lay the vinegar down, you're not really dipping your brush back in vinegar, you're just cleaning it in the water most For the most part, unless I find that there's a really hard line or something and then I can get in there with the vinegar will help soften mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And do you let it air dry? Yeah. You seem to blot. She blocked. She blocked Be too. Because, yeah, it was too wet. So if I blot, it dries the brush out a little bit and I can, it just takes up some of that Because you blot your ink. Oh, that too, I can do yeah. that, yeah, if it's really. You've been doing that. Yeah. Probably didn't even notice. You had noticed. You've had it so. several times. <laughs> so there's three colors. I'll go back with the red. Darken it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Nice proof. Yeah. Oh, I did want to show too this. Um, a lot of times, well, I don't know if anybody uses a uh, grid or the pattern on their design, but you can create a lot of interesting design with that for effects with the colors. And I do the same thing with the vinegar, add a little vinegar to it. And this is easier than filling each little dot. So what I'll do is um, just let it bleed over and drag it across a little bit. Mm. Um, and the same technique, but it's just, it fills a lot of the squares. And once you remove the wax, it looks like individuals, you know, colors. And does the vinegar break the surface tension? Sometimes it's difficult to get color into the yeah, because that helps that. Yes, it does. Yeah. So yeah, this one I'll be doing. <laughs> so then we get with yellow. You typically start with a dark color first and then bring yeah. the, the lighter color in. Yeah. The, Oh, that's great. And actually, I yellow to the top and get some green. So for a long time, I only used the three colors, mm -hmm. primary colors, mm -hmm. and um, you can see how many different shades you, that you can get with just the three colors, and then black, of course. And a lot of times, I'm not really concerned with getting over it because I'll wash it back if I need to after I have wax over the area. So for your eggs, you mostly do a, a black egg you do your design on? No, it depends. Um, I've been doing more with the black eggs, so you get the stained glass effect, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and that, yeah, you dye your egg black, wax your lines, and wash it back. And, you know, vinegar is pretty good for me, it works. So I'll just etch it back with the vinegar and then start dyeing. That's it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thanks, Mark. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my channel to get updates of new videos. Visit my website at lauripopal.com. Hugs!